An exciting prospect, but an added spice to this encounter because of what happened in the semi-final of the Coral UK. You may remember that Alex denied that he heard Cliff nominating his colour. The Canadian was called for a foul, which he thought very unjust, and then he refused to let Alex use his cue extension. Well, Alex won a match that had started in such good spirits and ended on a very, very sour note. Since then, Thorburn has continued to enjoy his most consistent ever season, reaching four finals and winning the Benson and Hedges title. Uh, but there's also been signs of a Higgins revival, a world doubles title, his first victory over Steve Davis for over a year, confirming that he was back. For that win over Davis, Higgins used a two-piece cue for the first time in many years, combining the tip end of his old one-piece with a new cue that came his way, thanks to some local knowledge. Lol Evans, a Mansfield taxi driver and a snooker fanatic, will never forget that night in January when a hurricane hit town. A telephone rung, it was Stan from Reindeer, and he asked him if we could go and pick a customer up. I said yes. Um, uh... He said, right, he says, it's for Mr. Higgins. And Glenny says, Mr. Higgins? He says, yes, Alex Higgins, the snooker player. So, of course, he thought he was having a run light, but anyway, we went light. And I said to him, well, I've got a cue at home if you wanted it, you know, if you do him any good. And I took him home, and uh, we got the cue out. He said, I'll have a look at that in a minute, like, as we sat talking. And we had a drink, and then he had a look at the cue, and he said, well, it's, it feels all right. But he only really needs the boat. So I said, that's okay. Do what you like with it, I'm giving it you. How long did you have the queue yourself then, Long? Oh, I'd had it, what? About 32 years, I think. So about 32, 33 years. I had it when I was a lad myself. Yeah. So I say to me, like, he, he's a good player. He's, uh, and when you meet him, he's a right down to earth character. He's not one of these snooty ones that seems they've cut above everybody else. He's right down to earth. Did you get a tip for him that night? Right? No. No, Still waiting for the tip? I'm not waiting for any tip whatsoever. <laughs> the only thing I'm satisfied with is it is that Q is doing him some good. And very soon we shall see how he's fed with it tonight. But first of all, let me bring in John McCraig. Welcome, John. You've had a chance to, to mix with the spectators. Um, what are the crowd making of this occasion? Well, Dickie, I have accosted nearly 200 spectators up there. What a great start for the evening that was. And about 80% of them are rooting for the people's champion, Alex Higgins. Less than 20% for Thorburn, the methodical Mountie. And I found just three neutrals. Now, remember this afternoon there were two dishy young girls who were wearing Kirk Stevens oh. T-shirts. Actually, poor old Graham Miles. He never got a look in. Tonight's crowd even more partisan. And where's the money going? Well, the pros are on the mountain. Corals say they stand to lose £35,000 if he wins, but the big betting boys are telling me that he's had the virus. So it seems as though they're almost worse than racehorses, to some of these snooker players. Anyway, if he wins, he's down from 6 to 1, down to 7 to 2 second favourite tomorrow morning, with, of course, the master human Steve Davis, 7 to 4 on. Alex, if he goes in, he's down from 8 to 1, down to 4 to 1. But I'll lay you one bet, Dickie, 50 to 1 against Alex asking for Q's Cliff extension tonight. <laughs> or even Cliff's Q extension tonight, yeah. <laughs> now... What about tonight's odds? Well, tonight's odds at 6 to 5 on the Methodical Mountie, and it's evens against Alex. So if you're having a bet, whether it's pounds or pints, evens either way. But do follow the example, maybe, of a couple that I know. And the loser always gets the winner's breakfast in bed in the morning. So some of you male chauvinists, if you could possibly stand the shock of looking after your, your long-suffering lady, get her breakfast in bed if you're on the loser. Have a good bet tonight with each other. <laughs> John, thank you very much indeed. And by the way, enjoy that breakfast, won't you? Well, now let's see them in action. Alex struck first, winning the opening frame, thanks mainly to a 47 break. Let's join him in the second now. Alex leads 24-23. It's Cliff to play, and describing the play, Ray Edmonds and Mark Wildman. Certainly the red to your left, to the left of your picture will, will pot, but uh, once a lot of work on the cue ball to get position. <coughs> of course, both these players fully aware of their opponent's abilities and uh, they're not going to take a lot of chances.
man. It looks as though there's a red that might pot into this top right-hand corner pocket. the scores 24 points each six seven Thirteen. Fourteen. <coughs> Twenty. Well, certainly these two reds aren't a, an absolute straight plant. He's again going to have to make the angle. He did very successfully, and not only has that kept the break going, it's also brought another red out in a potable position. 27. I'm just starting 28. to speed up a little now. Thirty-five. Well, that's thirty-nine points in front. So forty. Just the red to uh, leave Cliff Thorburn wanting snookers. Forty-one. And Alex isn't normally a front runner, and uh, to go two frames up against Cliff Thorburn. <laughs> and as you see, he's really pulling out the vintage Alex Higgins shots. Really delightful positional shot. Hurricane beginning to blow. Can the Canadian keep his feet? Well, let's move on to frame three. Thorburn needs 16 1, and he's to play.
one. And that's a great putt from Cliff Thorburn. Really under pressure and uh, he would have left Alex a chance if that one hadn't gone in. Good for them. Eight. favouring Alex there he just played the safety shot and uh, that was a real bonus three four and it's difficult enough to beat this man when he's getting in the shots that he's playing starts getting flukes and uh, it really is something to watch. Eleven. Alex Higgins, 12. Well, that's a bit of bad news for Alex Higgins. It appears he's got perfect position. That's the third red from the pink. Looks as though it would go into this top right-hand pocket. One. So, a very good opportunity here for Cliff Thorburn. Only 12 points in the lead, but should pick up a few points here. Eight. Cliff having a close look at two reds there that seem to be in line for the middle pocket.
16. And Cliff Thorburn not having the best of run at the moment. There's a possible red to the right hand corner, but uh, very difficult to judge when the balls are very close together. Nineteen. And again, just a little bit wrong. It's still a fairly straightforward pot, but if it had been somewhat straighter, it would have made Cliff's task a lot easier. worked out pretty well for Cliff. Couldn't have guaranteed getting on the black. But the brown was always over the pork pocket should he get out of position. That puts Cliff 38 points in the lead. 27. Thirty five. And Cliff still wanting one more red to uh, leave Alex wanting snookers. But the way the balls are situated, the odds are heavily in his favour. I'm sure he's not con contemplating anything but a safety shot now, but uh, just the most awkward place to uh, leave Alex. Cliff Thorburn, Thorburn somewhat, 47 points in front now, just 43 on the table.
Cliff Thorburn, one. Alex Higgins, 13. Cliff Thorburn, 60. And that left Higgins needing snookers. Thorburn had broken his duck. Now, in the next frame, Higgins scored a break of six, but then he snookered himself. Green. Green ball. Green ball nominated. Foul and a miss. Alex well, Higgins, a long six. Way out. Cliff Thorburn, four. The referee has called a foul shot and a miss. And that means that Cliff Thorburn has the right to ask Alex Higgins to play Green ball. from the same position again. He could, of course, elected to have continued playing himself. Foul and a miss. This is interesting. That's the second miss in succession. Once again, Cliff can either play from that position or ask for it to be replaced. And that's what's happening. Very rare you see this, Ray. No, quite honestly, Mark, I don't think the, the angle is there for the shot that Alex is playing. Um, I wonder if it, it's a, a moot point. I wonder if he's got the uh, chance to change the ball. nomination of the ball. But, uh... Foul. Cliff Thorburn. Four. And I think the referee probably wasn't really saying that Alex was uh, deliberately not aiming at the green, but he really was quite a long way out, and that time he decided that he, he'd got near enough to um, say that it wasn't getting any real advantage from it. Well, that could well have disturbed Alex's concentration because Cliff went on to win that frame and level the match at two all. And that seems a good point at which to take our break. We'll return in just a moment. And welcome back to the last of the third round ties in the Dulux British Open. Cliff Thorburn and Alex Higgins level at two frames each. Who would break through? Well, we join the fifth frame with no score, Thorburn to play, and John Pullman and Rex Williams are now the commentators. Eight. So the first chance going to Alex Higgins in this fifth frame. Good chance here to collect a few points. And Alex not happy with the spider. Thank you. 
17. Oh, Alex Higgins using all sorts of weird and wonderful implements. Oh, that's three reds, three blacks. 24. Twenty-five. Well, a bit slow on that shot. Played to go past the blue. Alex is looking to the red on the left of the table. That's the red that he's trying to get. He wanted to get through a little bit further on the blue just to make an easy shot to get onto that. Now he's having 25. to go through bulk and probably off the bottom and side cushion. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Oh, Alex got out of position there, but retrieved it with that very good red Forty-six. on the top cushion. And we really might see a big break here. 47. 54. 55. 62. 63. Now well, the break goes to 70 and still six reds on the table. 71. And didn't quite go through as far as he wanted with that shot. 78. <laughs> 79. Now this frame already beyond Cliff Thorburn's reach. 84. And Cliff realises that. 85. Ninety two. Ninety three. Oh, one more red for the ton. Ninety nine. The assembly rooms, Derby, thoroughly enjoying this.
27. And that's the highest break so far of the television part of this tournament. 108. <coughs> and the highest break of the tournament carries a first prize of £5,000. Won't be so easy to get on the green. 117. 120. So possibility of 142 here. 124. Well, that's not the best positional stroke he's ever played. Were warm, uh, there were warm congratulations from uh, Cliff Thorburn. Well, the hurricane is in front. We'll continue after this. And now we move towards the climax of this evening's encounter. Alex Higgins, who has never been in arrears, leaving Cliff Thorburn by three frames to two. There's no score in frame six. Higgins to play. Thirteen. Fourteen. And Alex certainly looking very sharp in this second half of the match. Twenty. Twenty-one. I think he's got himself a little bit straight on this black. All he could do was just leave the red into the center pocket. 28. 
29. There is one more loose red there, but he may take the opportunity this time of disturbing something. No, prefer just to uh, get the extra points with the one loose red. Alex Higgins, 36. looking at the possibility of a plant into the middle pocket would be a three ball plant players very adept at picking out those shots I think that uh, Cliff Thorburn a little bit unlucky with that uh, split. Don't think he's got a pot in this position and may have to play the safety shot. possibly play a double on the red and still leave the balls reasonably safe should he miss it. Good Thorburn, eight. Choice of one or two shots here, but nothing nice for Higgins. Oh, that's a very good shot. Four. 
six. Seven. Well, not the best angle to be on the black. 35 points in front at the moment. Alex Higgins. Seven. I'm quite happy there to take no chances. 35 is a very good lead. That's a good safety shot there from Thorburn. <laughs> and an equally good escape there from Higgins. Against four. Uh, the lead now goes to thirty nine. Cliff Thorburn a chance to get back into this frame. You can knock this red in, should be nicely on the black. And the other red's nicely split up. A very good opportunity here. Gentlemen, please. Sixteen. Alex Sixteen. Well, Alex knew that he'd missed that as soon as he played the shot. And what a great opportunity that was to go 
two frames in front. Still 51 points Eight. on the table. Uh, enough there for Cliff Thorburn to win this frame. I think Alex expected to be back to the table quite so soon. So, oh, Cliff Thorburn now requiring One. snookers. Alex must certainly be relieved to have that red left for him after missing that easy red. Had he potted the other easy red, Thorburn would need his snookers much earlier. Fine. But that certainly is the end of this game and uh, we'll put Alex 4-2 in front. Fifteen. Sixteen. And Cliff realising he's really up against it now, has to win the next three frames if he's to go through to the quarter-final. 23 Alex Higgins, 32. Yes, Higgins again in runaway mood and within sight of victory now. On to frame seven, as we join it, the score is 49-41 to Alex Higgins, but they've been on the yellow for 15 minutes of absolute cat and mouse, snookers and safety play, and it's Higgins' turn to play this crucial ball. And another good safety shot there from Higgins. Both players playing some superb safety. And we've been on the yellow ball now for over 12 minutes.
And again, that was a very good shot from Higgins. Played that with a tremendous amount of bottom on the cue ball to hold it at the top end of the table. People would have expected Alex to have a flash at that one, but controlled himself, played a very good snooker. Alex Higgins just eight points in front. Needing this frame for victory in the place in the quarter pass. And having to work very hard. I've seen a better bout of safety play for a long time, John, than this. This has really has been terrific stuff from both players. Both players putting each other in deep trouble and each player escaping and putting the other player back in trouble. Really is tremendous stuff. I don't think that Thorburn can hit all the yellow. I think he can just catch the side of it. Well, he's having to come off the side cushion, so again, it's a, a matter of uh, luck where this finishes. Alex Higgins, six. Well, he's given six points away, but he won't be too unhappy about that because the important thing is that it's still completely safe. But he could be back in trouble again after this shot. So Higgins now 14 points in front. Needs the yellow, green, and brown to win the frame and match. And all the balls out in the open, so first mistake could be the end of the frame.
Well, over 19 minutes now on this yellow ball, and neither chance, neither player has had a chance to pop the yellow and win the frame. Really has been terrific stuff, and I'm sure that everyone in the audience totally enjoying themselves. And this time, uh, Cliff Thorburn has a clear shot at the yellow, but he's in, still in trouble. This is a very difficult position he's faced with. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, please. Well, this is a half chance. The cue ball's quite close to the cushion, so it makes this shot a little bit more difficult. After 21 and a half minutes, Cliff Thorburn with a chance to stay in the match. Didn't quite get into that the way he would have liked. He's nine points behind, but if he can cut the brand into the corner pocket, he will automatically come onto the blue. very unlucky. It looked a natural shot to finish on the blue and that's about the only place on the table he could have put himself in problems. So, still a long way to go here for Cliff. Cliff needing blue, pink and black. Cliff Thorburn, nine. And another cracking safety shot from Cliff Thorburn. 
What a fight this frame has been. Alex uh, needing to get right behind the blue to punch it back up the table. And the centre pocket looks just in the place that he wants to strike to do that. Foul, Cliff Thorburn, five. So, what an interesting game this is. Goes a level, all square. 55. 55 points all. <laughs> grin from Alex there, realising that he was a bit fortunate. Leave things as safe as that. This is certainly not an easy pot. It sounded as if that might have kicked a little bit. played a perfectly good shot there couldn't get much more distance between the cue ball and blue This has certainly been one tremendous frame of snooker. Been in progress exactly one hour. Shots knocked the pink out of position. And yet another snooker. This is really tremendous stuff. Yes, this really has been a, 
A wonderful game of snooker. It's been an example of tremendous safety play. Not easy to get the pink, even if he pots this blue. And uh, again, refusing the pot. And I think quite sensibly playing the safety shot. Cliff having a grin there. I don't think he intended that double kiss. And once again, referee Vic Bartram being asked to clean the blow. <laughs> so that puts Alex Higgins five points in front, just needs the pink. Well, at the end of that 67-minute frame, a spontaneous show of ecstasy from the capacity crowd here at the assembly rooms. They've been saving the occasion for days. They were not disappointed. We've had a tremendous display of snooker. Congratulations to both players, especially, of course, to Alex for winning. Can I just say, first of all, lads, that I think everybody thought that there was going to be a great deal of edge in this match because of what had gone before, but it was played in tremendous spirit. Would you both agree? I think we both certainly would, at least I would, because... Uh... Uh, we're playing for a lot of money on um, this professional snooker cir circuit these days and, and there's a lot of pressures and, and what have you and people pick up on very, very small things that are part of day-to-day uh, -day snooker. They have well, right. Carry on. No, I was just going to say, so that's, that's, that's that incident finished. Is that a good idea just to get out of our hair? No, we don't talk well, about it anymore. I had a couple of uh, phone calls from the press, you know. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, how do I feel about this grudge match and everything? Mm. And uh, we're both sportsmen and... Uh, as far as that last incident is concerned, I didn't say, uh, no. you know, green loud enough, and that was it. But people <laughs> are trying to make it into a good smash. And, yeah. uh, you know. It clearly wasn't that anyway, no, certainly, no, no. as far as the, no. the, the player was concerned. What about that long frame, that last frame? A remarkable frame. It's the longest one you've played, isn't it? Uh, well, I would think so. I mean, I am the hurricane, but uh, I, I can play safety. And, and the most remarkable thing about that there reminds me of uh, the Bermuda Triangle, because... Uh, when we had all the balls in the centre of the table for about roughly 18 to 22 minutes, none of them balls were moved whatsoever. And it shows you the skill of Cliff and myself that we played the highest standard of uh, safety snooker that perhaps you mightn't see for a long, long time. And your view of that last frame, <laughs> Cliff? Well, I had uh, a lot of uh, fun playing the game. I mean, uh, it is my cup of tea, but unfortunately it's uh, his as well. <laughs> But, um, you know, I think we both escaped a couple of times, got maybe lucky two or three times or whatever. And, mm. uh, but I, you know, I thought that the result was a very fair result. And uh, I think Alex has got a very good chance at winning this uh, a particular championship. And uh, he played 
two bad frames out of out of seven, you know. So he <laughs> played very consistent. He did. And that's a word about that uh, break, because it's uh, 142. It's sometimes since you've had a break as big as that, isn't it, Alex? Well, it's sometimes, and I've had a, a sizable break on television. And uh, I think it's all down to the very fact that the queue uh, suits me a bit, a butt from Law, the taxi driver, and what have you. Yes. And, and equally, sure. the very fact is that uh, people for years... Uh, McCurk's got a hole in his sock, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, oh, God. Bert, just, right. Well, in yes, one word, yes. you must fancy yourself for the title. In one word. Now, now one match at a time, because all I'm right. not the type of bloke that makes uh, rice statements, because, like, they can all play, and, and it's really on the day. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thank you both very much indeed. Well, it's certainly been a night to remember.